Hello everyone, myself Dr. Aditya Gupta. So after NEET UG 2022, I think there is, there is no secret left that the question paper is going to come from NCRT and not just in biology, in chemistry as well. Seven months ago, back in the December or January, if I'm not wrong, I actually made a video uh, on how to study uh, chemistry. Uh, in, so what I have realized is that NEET aspirants keep on asking me, sir, NCRT ke bahar aur kya karna hai? What should we do outside of NCRT? This is a wrong question that you guys are asking actually in my opinion. You in fact should ask me, sir, how should we do NCRT? That should be the actual question. Because by NCRT by itself is not something which is, it's easy, it's because it seems easy because the books are, uh, the number of books is numbered. But having said that, your question should not be what should we do outside of NCRT because the paper is going to come from NCRT. It should be how should we do NCRT and not just of biology. I made a video on how should you do, uh, how should you read NCRT biology in order to, you know, uh, get questions out of it in which I talked about assertion reason also as well. Uh, in fact, for chemistry as well, the single most important book that will fetch you the maximum marks is NCRT. Not even a single question in this year's NEET UG paper in chemistry was outside of NCRT and that actually has been the trend for multiple years. 90 to 95% of the paper, even in chemistry, almost always used to be from NCRT. I don't know why people could not see it. In fact, I feel that your dependence upon physics will reduce if you make your chemistry strong. And it's easy for a bio student to make their chemistry strong rather than physics because uh, a lot of chemistry is memorization. And if you just put in the efforts, you will be able to memorize those stuff. I'll start with chemistry. So chemistry can easily be divided into inorganic, organic, and physical chemistry. Inorganic, even in JE, nothing comes out of NCRT. And in my opinion, inorganic is just like bio. There are very few concepts and the concepts are just like bio. You learn a concept and you learn the ex uh, exception. And that's what inorganic is. You just need to remember NCRT and related concepts and that's it. Your 60 marks out of 180 are guaranteed if you thoroughly do your NCRT. There is absolutely no doubt about that. Now coming to organic. Organic is what I tend to call as concept karatta. People say that organic has a lot and lots of concepts. I don't agree with it completely. I believe it does have concepts, but those concepts are not like physics that you can actually derive them and get to an answer. Those concepts have to be memorized and then you have to practice those concepts. So there is rectification of the concept, memorization of the concepts, and then you have to practice and apply those concepts. Now, again, as far as organic is concerned, the concepts that you need to memorize are all given in NCRT. The application part is something which you can actually slightly go outside of NCRT, but even the back exercises will cover 90% of your questions as far as organic chemistry is concerned. The rectification, the memorization of the concept part What's there in NCRT is actually more than enough. The practice part is actually something which you can actually do slightly outside of NCRT, but even the back exercises are really, really good. In fact, for me, the best way to practice organic chemistry was those questions in which one product was asked to be converted to another product. And it used to be like, okay, I first I'll do this type of reaction, then I'll do this type of reaction, and finally I'll get to the product. And in the back end, the exercises, the solutions were there, and you should check those solutions. I, I think that's the best way to practice organic chemistry is to be thorough with your NCRT. Now, last but definitely not the least, physical. Physical, the name itself suggests physics. So read physical with physics. Find a great teacher like MR sir or physics wala who teaches you thermodynamics and modern physics. 20 to 30 percent of chemistry is just that. It's interlinked with physics. The remaining part, worst come worst scenario, you just need to remember the formula. P for physical, P for physics, P for practice. Your physical and physics will improve. The more you practice questions, it will keep on improving. If you say you are, it's not improving, it's simply a function of the fact that you're not practicing enough. Plain and simple. The more you practice, the more your physical and physics will improve. So you do understand the fact that if for inorganic and organic, if your focus is just on NCRT, you almost will secure 100% marks. If not 100%, definitely more than 95%. Five questions. 30 questions are going to be from... Uh, organic and inorganic that will constitute 120 of your marks okay just maybe two or three questions inorganic can be from outside ncrt but inorganic is almost always going to be from ncrt so if your bio is strong 360 marks if your chemistry is strong just by focusing on ncrt 120 marks and getting your physics related intermingled concepts of physics 20 marks of physical chemistry you can secure 500 marks just from four books, 
okay not four maybe six books but yeah just from ncrt just from those thousand pages of ncrt 1100 pages that you have to do in 12 two years it doesn't seem that tough right getting 500 plus just by focusing on ncrt the question is that you should read ncrt thoroughly with each and every line it will help in your assertion reason questions as well as far as that is concerned people want to keep on asking how do i remember ncrt I used to make questions from NCRT by myself. I did not have the opportunity of using an app called Memonite. I really, really like the concept of this app called Memonite because it literally makes you questions from each and every line of NCRT. And now, earlier it was just a bio-exclusive app, no longer. It now also has chemistry, all three chemistry, but especially for inorganic or unorganic, it will be helpful to, you know, check your uh, knowledge, check your memorization aspect of inorganic and organic is concerned. And I'm always someone believes that don't believe what I'm saying. Pehle istamal kare, phir vishwas kare. You go and check, check the free portion of the app. It's around 20 to 30 percent of the app is free. If you like it, then only spend your parents hard earned money. But this definitely this is something this is going to be a recommendation from my side. From each and every line of NCRT, they have framed questions. So in order to test your knowledge of NCRT, this is probably one of the best apps that I can actually recommend. So I'll again say, you just have to focus on NCRT. That's about it. Bio ki do and two NCRTs of biology, 360 marks, four NCRT chemistry, another 140 marks. Minimum, maximum to 180 bhi ho sakte hai. Your reliance on physics also will decrease. Okay, since your reliance on physics also will decrease, you just probably need 50% physics to get above 600 and get the government medical seat. I still believe that just by focusing on NCRT, as far as physics is concerned, NCRT is important. I'll make a bit of a separate video as far as physics is concerned. But bio and chemistry, there's no doubt that only NCRT can actually get you full marks. Then why are you focusing on sting? Keep on asking me questions. Ki NCRT ke bahar kya karna hai? Your question should be, sir, NCRT kaise karni hai? Right? Put a heart and soul into it. Cracking meat won't seem like a tough game. Okay, and now I'll tell you about the app, the Memonite app, uh, a really, really good concept. You can check it out. Thank you and have a nice day. So this is the Memonite app. Memonite is a line by line NCRT app. Basically, it's one concept basically being to test your NCRT line by line of NCRT with the help of MCQs. It's an amazing app as far as biology is concerned with each and every chapter given topic wise and chapter wise. At the same point of time, now even for chemistry, especially for the organic and the inorganic part, you have to realize they come exclusively from NCRT and in an organic, you can test your knowledge of NCRT. Let's say uh, even right now, we know that environmental chemistry came more. So you can just go as you want to check S and P block elements for that particular thing. Ki, okay, this is line say ye question ban sakta hai. from this line, this kind of question can be framed. This is an excellent app. Check out the free portion of the app in my opinion. If you like it, then only spend your parents hard earned money. Otherwise also um, uh, really nice recommendation from my side will keep on recommending. Thank you and have a nice day.